How y'all doing this evening? All right, so today we're going to go over a boat of mine. I just recently got it. It's a native uh, it's a Slayer Propel Max 12. It's 12 and a half foot. It's a pedal drive boat. We'll give you some good, some bad, some things I wish they would change. Maybe in next year or two, they'll change some things. Just go over a quick overview of the boat. I know there's several reviews of the boat out there. Um, none of them, in my opinion, I gave an honest review, review of the bad. Uh, everybody gives great fluff to the boat, not knocking the boat at all. It's a great boat. There are some things I think need to be changed or modified, and that's what we're going to go over in this video. All right, let's start in the back of the boat here. I like these handles. I like that they're on a track system. You know, I can slide something like this. I've got this Yak Attack pole flag on here. I can attach it at my handle system. I like the squareness of the back of it. I think it's going to give good stability to this boat. Got a nice rudder under it. Here's my first complaint about this boat, guys. So here's my paddle. I understand what they've done. They built in these nice paddle holders. And they cut a groove in it to lay your paddle down. But if you see what I see, the paddle is at a different angle than the handle. To correct this, all I gotta do is, is change the angle of this a little bit. But to me, it's something that should have been done at the factory. They should put a slider on here or some way to adjust it without having to do it myself. Um, I, I've tried them forwards, backwards, sideways. It don't matter. They don't line up. Now, maybe it's just my paddle. Maybe I got a weird paddle and it just don't fit. But that needs to be changed. This guy has to be put at a slight angle down. Uh, moving on to the next thing, in my opinion, which is great, but it needs some modifying. So we got the rod tip protectors. We've got these nice, handy dandy butt holders. I think that rod's nice and secure. It'll ride fishing. I don't know that I'll travel down the highway on a trailer with it here, but it's in good position. This is a seven foot two flipping stick. So we got the handle there. I have that much of the hand, that much of the rod tip is up in the rod tip protector. But here's my thing. Let's say that I'm using a short ultralight or one of my, I've got a, a cranking rod. It's like less than six foot. So they put these little adjuster screws on here. Great. Well, let's say I slide it up here to fit my short rod. Do y'all see what I see? This hole. It covers up part of my rod holder here. They could have put a, a you know a cut out into this and reformed this rather than being so square and bulky. So now it slides over. It ain't a deal breaker. It's just little things that I'm I'm picky about. Um, another thing, these here bungee system. I love it. Got it in the front and the rear. I wish they'd have putting a Phillips screw here. It'd been a thumb screw like it's on the seat. So that way on the water on the fly. I can adjust it and slide it and lock it back down. Now, I've got to keep a Phillips screwdriver with me in the boat to change these. So throughout the day, if my load changes and I've decided I want to move something around in the back tank well of my boat, I've got to get a Phillips screwdriver out or just deal with it. I'd like to see thumb screws, even if it was these type of little thumb screws, just some type of screw that you could adjust on the fly in the boat. Move on to the seat. They, they hit a home run right here, guys. They've got all kinds of storage places. Slide bait tackle storage here, bait tackle storage here. I got bait tackle storage here, here. Tons of room underneath. I think it's going to be great. And and my opinion, that, that's one of the better seating arrangements of all the boats I've looked at. Um, plenty of rod storage. Uh, let's get this rod up out of the way here. So we got in the boat rod storage here. Rafters in the way. Cup holder, another rod storage. Cup holder, nice little tray. The pedal drive system, home run. Love it. Smooth, it's quiet. Um, I think they did a real good job on this here. Moving up here a little further. Downfalls. I don't care for these things. They're plastic. They feel like I'm going to break them. I'm very tough on stuff, and I feel like I'm going to break them. And if I push them too far forwards, like I feel like they're supposed to snap there. I can't, I can't get them to come back. You have to almost two-hand it and push back 
and then pull. I feel like I'm going to break them. Maybe they'll break in on time. You know, maybe a couple of pushes forwards and backwards. I may try to put some WD-40 on them or something. Uh, we'll see. Time will tell, but first impressions, not liking it. Second, this hinge. Nice, hard molded top. If you can see that hinge moving, I feel like that hinge is only got a matter of time. Now, if y'all can see this, see how my, my, my lid's sitting there? So what it's doing, it is catching on these two little molded insets for the screws on the hinges. Before I modified mine, which I've done modified this one, you see how close that gets to that gray plastic right here? It was actually hitting right through here. Now I just took a knife, a sharp, good sharp knife, and I just whittled it right down through here. No big deal. Cut just sixteenth of an inch off, and it, it cleaned it up. But these are still hitting. No deal breaker. Just little things that I feel like they could have improved on. I'm not sure I'm going to use the battery compartment here. I think it's it's good. I'm worried about all the electrical current. The battery, the wires, you know, any relays, plug-ins, interfering with my transducer that goes right here. We'll see. Right now, I have mine sitting in the bottom of my boat here. Uh, you know, we'll see how time goes. First mod I done because I know that I'm going to be fishing out of this boat, and I do love that I can take this part out, put a transom mount right here, put a 55-pound thrust transom mount trolling motor on it, and off I go. I got these off Amazon. They're just 3M adhesive lights. They're LEDs. I brought them around. I took this handle off and I drilled a hole right in the corner. I don't know if you can see it in the corners. Let the wires loose. It ain't getting pinched. A little dab of silicone, a little dab of silicone. Drilled my holes exactly the wire size. So it was a good tight fit. Um, I think these are going to work well. They look good on the boat. Um, that, that if you're going to get some attention, maybe, you know, early mornings, other boaters on the water, we'll see. Other than that, I'm pretty well pleased with this boat. Uh, I think they, they've come a long ways. It's one of the better boats that I found. Um, I do like the seat locks in place. Like I said, if anybody's looked in reviews of this thing, you'll see high-low seating, but it locks in place. Quick turn of the knob here, I can slide my seat forwards and backwards. I've kind of played with it, and this is where I like it. Pedaling wise, we'll get on the water and see if I need to adjust it anymore. Other than that, there's not a lot I'm going to change this boat besides some electronics. I'm going to put depth finders on it. Uh, I've got my lights in my charger system. Uh, probably going to put a black box on the back of it, a Yak Attack storage. Um, my net and get, you know, tackle figured out. Um, it's going to be an experience, but I, I will definitely... Say, I like this boat, but I'm not going to cut it no slack. If I see something that I feel is wrong with the boat or needs improved or I don't particularly care for, I'll let you know. Not that I'm bashing them, so nobody take it that way. Um, I'm just a very honest opinion about something. And not everybody's like me. Everybody else may love these little plastic things. I just see me stepping on it, breaking it. Something's going to go wrong, and I'm going to break that, and then I'll figure out a solution from there. All right, so one thing I installed here, y'all can see this. I'll get you down there real close. This is a, a dual USB charger. So I've got two places. I can charge my GoPro here, my phone here. I can monitor my battery. That way, if my battery starts getting low, I know to start killing electronics to make sure my, my phone stays charged. This is a flush mount, push button, waterproof switch. Uh, lets me know it's on. I went with red uh, to signify that I got my red lights on. So pressing that, you can see I got my red and my greens on the front of the bow. Uh, I really like this little block that Native did. Uh, you take it off. There's a hole back here, run all my wires in. They sell replacement panels. So if you want to take this with you, you mess it up, you don't like it, you can change it. It's no big deal. So this, this panel here, I really like it. I think it's good. Uh, something I did here, you want to look. So Propel comes with these little screws and studs that you can put on your pedal. I put all mine facing through from this way. I didn't put none facing 
up this way. So this side is slick. This side has got them on it. I did that for the reason of when I'm paddling with a shoe, I can wear this studded side, my foot don't slip. If I'm barefoot, I wear this here. I don't have to worry about these eye studs sticking me in the foot as I'm paddling. Uh, it's a very smooth system. Um, one thing I don't do is this here. I will probably leave this down out of the way out so that way the unit can kick up rather than hit this and break this. I understand they're supposed to be replaceable and cheap, but I just soon to me, I'll leave it open. Um, other than that, uh, I'm really pleased with the boat. Uh, time will tell what it uh, really fishes like. Um, I think it's going to be plenty of storage back here for my tank whale as far as baits. I like the way they've molded things in on this thing. Um, it's it's going to work out well, I'm thinking, for this year. Um, catch me at the uh, Bassmaster Tournament, Lake Logan Martin. Uh, head down there March 5th. I'm going to be going to Texas uh, March 12th, I believe it is. Um, we're doing some fishing, recording it, uploading it to y'all. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Thank y'all.